Hi, Brent, how are you? I'm great. Now this is the Ohio History Connection, but it looks like we're talking about art today. We are indeed. We'll be talking about Elijah Pierce, who was a folk artist from Columbus. Right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, was he born here? He wasn't. He was actually born in Baldwin, Mississippi. Um, he came to Columbus in 1923. He uh, followed a woman named Cornelia, who would become his second wife. Mm -hmm. I know a little bit about him. It's mostly wood carvings, right? Yes, he was a wood carver, and actually the founding director of the Museum of American Folk Art called him the most influential wood carver of the 20th century. And where did he work in Columbus? So in Columbus, he worked at his barber shop and also art gallery, as you can see from the sign here. He was a barber since he was a teenager, and he often worked in other people's shops. But in 1954, he opened his own shop on uh, East Long Street uh, in the neighborhood that would be we would call the Near East Side of Columbus. Now tell me about these three figures. Are they separate works, or are they combined somehow? So these three are all separate works. He carved these towards the end of his life in 1981 and 1982, and he actually signed and uh, dated the bottom of each one. You could see E. Pierce uh, there. Yeah. But we acquired them as a group, and I think they're really fantastic as a group because Pierce often carved pieces that were influenced by the Old and New Testaments of the Bible, African American history, pop culture. He really had quite a large repertoire, but religion was very important to him. He felt that he performed God's works through his carvings, and he often used them as uh, props for his preaching. And so looking at figures like this, they just seem like these amazing, whimsical figures. But to me, I think they have a larger message. If you look at their hands, so if you look at the hands on the gentleman with the stick and on the lady in the blue dress, they have their hands in front of them and they almost seem like they're clasped almost in prayer. Whereas the gentleman in the hat is holding a bottle. And if you look at their faces, the two who seem to be praying appear happy, while this one with the bottle doesn't look so happy. It's kind of a sneer on his face. Huh. To me, this is Pierce's way of commenting on choices that people had. You can turn to the drink or you can do God's bidding. And clearly he believed doing God's bidding was the better option. He actually did work in his barber shop between customers, right? He did, so his shop had two rooms. The front room was the barber shop and the back room was his art gallery. Oh. And the art gallery was a place where he displayed his carvings and he would tour people through there, especially once uh, museums and art collectors became interested in his work. He had a lot of visitors. But he would just sit in the barber chair when he was in between customers and carve. One of his um, most treasured uh, works was called The Book of Wood. And the book has 32 pages, and each page was supposed to be one year of Jesus' life. Um, and it's a, it's a tremendous uh, work. So his works could be very, very complex, and yet he did all of it by hand. He never used power tools. It was simply a pocket knife and a hand chisel. He also was friends with um, uh, artists like Amina Robinson, and they greatly influenced each other, just in the way they did their work, in the styles, their use of bright colors, and also, I think, in their sense of community. Um, for both Amina Robinson and Elijah Pierce, their community was really important, and the fact that the community recognized their art as important and beautiful and worth having long before a museum became interested was really important to them. So these artists like Amina Robinson would come to the barber shop and hang out. So it was a barber shop and a salon. Exactly. How about that? <laughs> these are terrific. Elijah Pierce is beloved and uh, very well regarded, not only in Columbus, but in the entire art world. So thanks for showing this to us. Oh, you're welcome.